All right, moving on. Uh, so now we got more sad news. Um, we had a, a rash of game show deaths over the past couple weeks. Um, Carl Ruiz, uh, who was on Food Network Star and who was a multi-time judge on uh, Guy's Grocery Games and Chopped. And he was originally discovered on Guy Fieri's uh, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Passed away uh, Monday, actually. No, passed away Sunday, uh, the 22nd, uh, from an apparent heart attack. Like, everybody at Food Network is mourning. Because of what happened there. Um, Any thoughts on Car Ruiz? Because I always thought he was pretty cool on Guy's Grocery Games. As a judge. uh, So, uh, first of all, when it comes to all these cooking shows, I think we should remind people these are game shows. And therefore, it should be counted in the world as such, even though they're often forgotten. Uh, because it offers talent, uh, it's not trivia-based talent, but compared to like a singing show or a dancing show, this is their talent, which is cooking. Uh, when it comes to judges on the show, you, you usually get the ones that are the, um, we'll say the mean ones, like like an Alex Garner Shelley. But mm-hmm. he was more of the, what's the best way to say? I think he was more of the on, like he was the honest, but like he knew where people were going at with things, which yeah. is not common with a lot of these chefs where it is. He favors courage and he favors taking the risk over playing it safe when it comes to when he's tasting something. It's like, wow, these scallops are a little burnt, but I never saw honey as an ingredient in this. And you knocked it out of the park with that. Like uh, he would be fitting that jet tila. Yes. I would say a jet tila, like a street food kind of. Yeah. Jetila G. Garvin, who's also Guy's Grocery Games. Um, I'm trying to think who would be the perfect chop. Well, Jetila did chopped. But I'm also thinking maybe a Mark Murphy style. Yes, Scott we're... Conant style. Or Amanda Freitag. Because I like those. Because people know I love those kind of judges. I like the ones that are just like, instead of just, well, you know, this is a little under seasoned. I, I didn't get much of the. He doesn't care. He usually just like, I want more spice. But I like the courage to use Brussels sprout instead of this ingredient or mm-hmm. when there is the fact of a guy's grocery game and, you know, there's like a little hook, like you only got like three bucks or you have to use this ingredient. He goes, I'm aware you didn't do this. I think it's smart that you did that. I wouldn't have played it that way. However, mm-hmm. by doing that and he's talking strategy, you don't see that much when it comes to the judge table to directly to the contestants. And I think if they brought back Cutthroat Kitchen, he would have been one of the best judges on the show if they had that. Carl Ruiz, yeah. Uh, and unfortunately for that, he wouldn't... Uh, it's not going to come back. And it's it's still unfortunate. Yeah. Um, um, moving on, we have another one. Uh, Suzanne Wang, who's on House Hunters. She hosted it for nine years, from 1999 to 2007. So, um, she also had a recurring role as Polly on uh, Las Vegas. NBC's drama Las Vegas. Now, House Hunters is one of those iconic shows on, I believe, HGTV. Yep. Uh... I you can't like that is pretty much eight hours of the HGTV channel. It used to be like here's how to make backyard gardening and patio furniture, mm-hmm. and and but with House Hunters, it was a show that like at first was kind of like why should I watch this, and then ultimately because I believe of how the production works, uh, was something fascinating to watch because it's which house do these people pick, even though it's clear they've already made their decision if you see how empty the house is. Yeah. Um, and now it's uh, just Fixer Upper, Flipper Flop. Um, property Brother. Property Brothers. Uh, love It or List It. I, I still think House Hunters is a better show. Mm-hmm. 
especially when it was the uh, uh, House Hunters Malibu and those million mm-hmm. dollar listing kind of shows. Yeah. And for Suzanne, the game show equations that she was a co host on uh, GSN Live, which uh, both of us rate as being pretty good. Um, until they went mad with oodles and it killed the show. People don't want oodles, the GS and currency. They just want have fun. And it, it was a great throwback to the late 90s game show network with the call and win kind of shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so so to me, it's 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 kind of also they had a lot of news involving game shows. So it kind of made this show feel like redundant by comparison. Yeah. Uh but we can't give away cash, unfortunately. Uh, but I think we might have oodles, though. We do. We might still have oodles. We have prizes. Like, what can I give away as a prize? Who wants twenty five hundred oodles? Oh, I got it. Who wants a copy of Survivor season one on DVD? That's. I mean, that's a prize. That is the most iconic season of Survivor. The Richard Hatch win, the first alliance in the history of a reality competition series and how quote unquote it's unfair to have one i have seasons one through 12 straight on dvd then i have season 20 which is heroes versus villains and uh redemption island which is widely considered to be the worst season uh i don't know have you seen the the plugs for this season of survivor island of the idols yes with with the boston rob uh wooden statuette it's on my dvr i need to watch it uh, <laughs> people are saying I don't know <laughs> mm. and then the big one uh, Phyllis Newman who uh, starred in a lot of movies a lot of Broadway shows like Wish You Were Here Bells Are Ringing The Prisoner of Second a- Avenue On the Town Broadway Bound um she uh, starred in Mannequin, Only You, The Beautician and the Beast, did a lot of TV. Uh, uh, Decoy. Her game shows was a, a panelist on so many of those panel-based game shows that you remember. Password, uh, I've Got a Secret to Tell the Truth. And a match game. Yeah, she did, uh, did She do the 60s match game, or was she in the 70s match game? I I think she did this. I know definitely in the 60s. I think she might have came back for a couple episodes of the 70s when they were still figuring out the format. All right. So I think she was probably a position for. Her. Yeah. Um, so I know in the early days, they would on in positions with six, they would have like Ann Elder or uh, Kay Ballard or Betty White because Betty White was kind of in six. That's what they would do. Um, I I think that is one of those cases where I I vaguely I I remember Phyllis more in the uh, to tell the truth era the, those panel shows because yeah. uh, especially uh, what's my line with the blindfold mystery guest mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure she played the prices right in 1964 65. So eventually those might end up airing on Buzzer. Not really, because those were date. I believe she was on daytime. Oh, no. They, they only kept the prime time. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about that whole kerfuffle down the road. Take the can, why don't you? Yeah. Well, uh, this one we kind of have to. We kind of need to press on. 